SAP Screen Persona Service Pack 10 is all about delivering an intuitive user experience to both end users and developers. It also reaffirms and expands our commitment to delivering SAP POA. I'm here with Vandana today to talk a little bit more about it. So Vandana, SP9 was big on usability enhancements and delivering an overall excellent experience to both end users and people developing flavors. And every service pack we go into, we really try to dig deep into the customer feedback to understand how we can make their experience better. Can you tell us a little bit about what we've improved since SP9? Sure, Conrad. So if you recall in SP9, we incorporated several runtime improvements for tables, including an option to allow the users to scroll or page through data. This option was only available for desktop use cases. We have now extended this capability to mobile rendering of the flavors so that the users can use their native touch gestures on the mobile devices to scroll through the table rows. This property is now set by default to scroll. Very cool. Well, that seems like it's going to create a better mobile experience for our end users. So let's talk about flavor development for a minute. Could you talk a little bit about what we've done in SP10 to streamline and improve the flavor building process? Yes, there are several improvements that will help streamline flavor building experience. One of my favorite enhancements is the ability to cut and paste controls when merging content from different tabs. Let me show you a quick demo. So let's take a look at the transaction screen for the display order ME23N. If I need to simplify this screen, I would typically need to navigate to the tab from which I need to merge the controls, copy the controls here, make some room in the user area, temporarily park the controls, move back to the tab, and then paste the controls back into the tab that I want in the flavor. Now with SP10, we've made it much simpler for the users to perform this function in the flavor editor by support for the cut and paste. Let me show you this. I go into the edit mode, can navigate to the tab from which I want the controls to be merged. I would multiple select the controls and use my command key to cut the controls. You notice that once I cut the controls, you will see an icon over here indicating what's saved in the clipboard. So this would be all the set of controls that have been cut. Now I would move back to the tab into which I need to merge or copy these controls. I'll simply bring up the context menu and paste the controls over here. This makes it much easier for the flavor editors to quickly build screens with merged tabs. While I'm in the edit mode, let's talk about the enhancements we have made with regards to the global scripts to improve the script writing and maintenance experience. When building flavors and assigning scripts, you want to reuse the global scripts as much as possible. For instance, in this flavor, I want to leverage the scripts that have been created for table, Scripting, for instance, getting table content, searching table content, etc. However, when viewing these scripts, you might accidentally edit the scripts. In order to avoid this situation, we now have a capability to mark the script as a final script, thereby making it non-editable when you're viewing the scripts in the flavor editor. I would also like to show you the changes we have made in the admin UI for management of global scripts. In SP9, there was no way to manage the scripts. We now have an option for global scripts under object maintenance. Here you can click on a script, you can import or export them, you can mark them as final, you can also use the translation tab to provide translatable display strings used within the global script in the same way as you were able to do it in local scripts. In addition, in the Relations tab, it allows you to see which flavors are using this particular script, and you also get the change history for this script. Got it. Well, the ability to cut and paste objects like that has actually been asked for for a while, so I'm actually really stoked that we're finally able to deliver it. And it also sounds like global scripts are going to be a lot easier to maintain from here on out. So a big talking point at all of the SAP Tech Ed events this year has really been about creating a consistent user experience across all business processes. We here at SAP really want users to have a single user experience the minute they open their SAP Fiori Launchpad. So could you talk a little bit about what we've done in SP10 to help with that? Yeah, sure. 
As customers strive for building a coherent user experience, they rely on the integration of the transactions that they have simplified with SAP Screen Personas or Slipstream Engine with SAP Fiori Launchpad, which provides an entry point for a unified experience. We have made several improvements to the Slipstream Engine Launchpad plugin to allow for a better navigation between the flavors and other applications using Fiori Launchpad such as prompting the user for unsafe changes when they are navigating away from Slipstream Engine. Also, in response to several customer requests, we have added an option to render the flavors in Launchpad using the full screen width instead of the default letterboxing rendering. Well, that sounds like we're creating a more comprehensive experience. And so speaking of SAP Fiori, SAP recently announced SAP Fiori 3. Could you tell us how we're bringing that updated user experience into SAP Screen Personas? Yeah, we are seeing a lot of interest from customers who are building and adopting Fiori 3 user experience. With this in mind, we wanted to provide the same functionality for them out of box with SAP Screen Personas. So now when you create your flavors using SAP Screen Personas, instead of using the Belize theme, you will by default be using Fiori 3 or the Quartz Lite 3 which makes it easier for customers to tie in a consistent look and feel across all their SAP applications and the flavor created using SAP Screen Personas. Well, that's great news for people that are ready to get started with SAP Fiori 3. In short, SAP Screen Personas Service Pack 10 is all about continuing to deliver a better, more intuitive experience for both end users and developers. Our table scrolling feature fulfills a long-awaited customer request and the new cut and paste feature, coupled with the improved global script management, is going to make it easier and faster to build flavors. We've also focused on delivering a comprehensive SAP Fiori user experience, including the rollout of SAP Fiori 3 for your transactions. Thank you for your feedback, and we look forward to what you have to say for SAP Screen Personas Service Pack 11.